Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar here with MLB 14, the show. And we've got some Jackie Robinson road to the show coming your way. And this is going to be like a historic game. Uh, in that, it is Jackie Robinson's first game at the AAA level. So in the last episode, we did see the AA All-Star game. So I don't know where this is coming from, saying that I'm a AAA All-Star starter considering that the AAA All-Star game hasn't even happened yet. My guess is that it's just all in how the game is coded. But anyway, so now we're going to be seeing Jackie Robinson play for the Albuquerque Isotopes, which, I mean, it's going to be a you know big change, of course, from what we were seeing earlier at the AA level for a lot of reasons. But um, one of the cool things, uh, in case you did not know this, is that the Albuquerque Isotopes actually uh, got their name from uh, the Simpsons. So I think it's pretty cool. Like the Springfield team was the Isotopes, and that's that's kind of cool where they got it from. So just a little bit of information there. I didn't even have to look that one up. I kind of knew it. But anyway, so um, first at bat here at the Triple A level. See how this one ends up going, but swing on it since I figured it was going to be right over the heart of the plate and will be caught out in right field. So, first at bat, first pitch, first out. Hopefully, he'll be playing a little bit better. But um, if the Nolan Ryan series is any indication of what we're going to be seeing, um, this is probably not going to be pretty. So, I mean, but at the same time, I mean, it is, I mean, it may not necessarily be that much tougher too because and it I hope this makes sense but when you're you're pitching like what I do with the Nolan Ryan series um, that ends up being you know tougher because there's so many more variables that are not controlled by by you the player you know whether the computer is going to be swinging at a pitch where it's going to go all that stuff completely out of your hands but you know when you are the hitter and that's all that you're doing you know, there's a lot more that's kind of in your hands you know, that you can, you can go ahead and do. Like, it just feels like that the attributes uh, weigh more heavily on you in uh, or you as a pitcher than it is hitting. So, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But, yeah. No, I'm kind of excited for this. And we are playing the Omaha Storm Chasers again. And so, they've actually been the team that's been the – most uh, frequent team that I played as far as the AAA level goes. And believe me, like, this would be so cool since Omaha is, like, 45 minutes away from me if, like, Jackie Robinson, like, was actually brought back to life for Reborn or something, you know. Ends up playing for the Albuquerque Isotopes, goes to Omaha. I'd be there just like everybody else would, but I don't know. This really is making me kind of want to go up to Omaha and watch a Storm Chasers game. I know I've kind of talked about it in some of the, the previous videos where I played Omaha. But, yeah, I'm thinking it's about time I finally go back. So this is supposed to be TD Ameritrade, which is the park that they play at. Oh, that reminds me, College World Series. That would actually be pretty cool to go to. I might have to look into that. Here I am talking about wanting to go to all this baseball. We'll see if I'll actually be able to go ahead and do it. All right, so a good situation for Jackie to get his first RBI as we've got runners on first and second. 2-2 two -two pitch, two outs, going to foul that one back. Keep the count at 2-2 two -two here. So already my team's been doing a pretty good job at being able to wear down this pitcher. You can see a lot of pitches for him so far. So that one goes into left field. Runners rounding third, coming home, and that was a mistake. I could have told you that as he rounded third. That was not the smartest call, but you know what? It's out of my hands. Oh, well. At least uh, I got my first hit at AAA. So even though it didn't work out perfectly there, still something to be excited about. There we go. Ground ball. Throw over to first. There we go. I mean, as far as fielding goes, that's going to be exactly the same. If anything, it will probably see a higher percentage of, of throws that you know come come out to be errors but other than that that's going to be the same so it's kind of good to know that the training points are going to be coming in at the same rate that they have been before um 
you know, as long as this goes here because I'll be able to steadily build things up. And I'm kind of working here on a number of different things with Jackie. Like, for example, since I did finish the AA baseball game, I did get a lot of training points just for that. So, yeah, I got a little bit with speed and stealing, um, and I kind of spread it out also, too, with hitting a little bit as well. Just get me uh, a few extra contact points because, for me, that's the most important thing with Jackie. I'm not quite concerned about power yet. I know that that time will eventually come, but I have some other things that I have to work through. With Jackie, the focus that I've always had is a contact hitter with speed because that's kind of a lot more along the lines of how he was in real life. Uh, yes, he did hit for some power and everything, but he wasn't like hitting these towering 40 you know, home run seasons or anything like that. So, I don't know. Kind of keep it where it's going. But I know it does mean things are going to slow down as far as training goes. Because, and I like this, I mean, Sony made it that the higher you go as far as training, uh, the more uh, more points you have to spend. So it gets tougher uh, as you go along. So um, with Jackie, too, and as far as personnel goes in the Dodgers organization, of course, you've got D. Gordon there at second base. I think he's like a 77 overall. Um, and Jackie's like a 68 eight or something like that right now so we do have a little bit of a ways to go but um i don't think it'll necessarily be too bad because uh the second baseman in triple a was like 71 so i was able to still surpass him while having inferior attributes but it's really that hot streak that helps you out too because they give you like an adjusted overall and that adjusted overall is really i think what the game looks at so if I can get my adjusted overall beyond 77, I might get called up to uh, to the majors. But if this kind of holds true to form from what we've seen in uh, MLB 13, the show probably won't happen until the end of the year. You know, kind of going through spring training and get added to the 40-man roster. So if that's uh, what ends up happening, so be it. Just means I've got some time here at, at AAA. Just you know, kind of going up against some pitchers that may be easier to get some hits off of and just get that little extra boost, uh, you know, by being here in the minors. And I know it's not a bad thing either. I know some people just absolutely despise being in the minors, and that, that honestly used to be me with, you know, like MLB 2K and stuff like that. But, you know, I really don't mind it now. Uh, to some degree, I actually kind of enjoy it because I get to see teams that I wouldn't get to see any other way. So, 2-2 two -two count again. I foul that one off. Seems like every time I call the count, I'm just fouling it off and nothing changes because it's a 2-2 two -two count. But we're up 4 to nothing, man in scoring position in the top of the eighth. This one's going to go right through the center. Going to round third, come home. There we go. RBI for Jackie. So a lot of first here in his first game at the AAA level. So they do have me hitting in the number six spot, which is very different than what we've seen in uh, the AA or uh, what's what we saw in AA because in, in AA I was actually the leadoff hitter. Um, obviously, that's not me. Now that may, of course, change down the road. There are different interactions that you can do as a player. One of them is to change the order, but I'm not too concerned about where I am in the order. I mean, whether I'm in the sixth spot or the first spot, it's really not going to affect me too much. It's just how it's going to help the team. So debating whether or not I should try to go ahead and steal, but this fly ball is going to end up being caught. But yeah, I was thinking about stealing for a couple reasons. One, because I want to see what it's like at the AAA level. And also, too, I mean, I'm already up by quite a bit right now. So if I were to end up being thrown out, it really wouldn't hurt me too much at all or hurt the team for that matter. So as Eagle comes up to the plate, we'll see what we've got here as far as fielding goes. Looks like just going to be right to me and then just throw it right on over to first. No double play or anything. Must say, uh, this really hasn't gotten too monotonous at all with fielding. I kind of like, you know, all the variety and stuff that they give to it. So, anyway, that is going to be the ball game. End up going two for four with one RBI 
my first triple a appearance we end up winning five to nothing so a great way to start things off this is a lot better than the last video i did where i went 0 for 5 in that all-star game but thanks for watching you guys i sure do appreciate it more of this to come later on so make sure you guys subscribe if you haven't already you can follow me on facebook twitter all that great jazz but you guys are phenomenal people you really are thanks again for watching you guys and as always i hope you have a good one